very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so actually I just wanted to remind everyone that this week the signals are not running because Angela has went on a vacation and she will be back here by next week therefore we decided that we are going to make a very good offer for everyone who is going to join the premium signals during her absent. Uh, we can see that here we have one week, one free extra week is going to be added to your membership only if you have joined this week, uh, 8 August until 16 August. So what will going to happen is uh, your membership is going to be active starting of, uh, from 17 August and it's going to expire on 23rd September. We have received a lot of messages about this uh, about this offer so I just wanted to explain it here that after you actually make the payment and finish uh, joining the group uh, you will have one month in your membership of course and then uh, after the expiration of the month you will have one week extra added to the subscription. So that's the deal and I suggest you guys hurry up and get it because we only have like um, five days left only of this offer so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's move right now to the weekly analysis to, sorry to the midweek analysis and let's see what happened in the market during that time so starting with the signals one by one euro usd has been activated as we can see uh, the signal has uh, has already reached uh, the take profit level not only one time but actually two times I think um, 11 yes it has been activated exactly on the level given and it went on 56 pips of profit then has reversed and again has been activated and again another 58 pips of profit has been made now uh, what's gonna happen next let me just erase first the the signal we have sent before so we are not going to confuse them. Let's go back to the four hour chart. Now what we can see on the EURUSD is, a sorry, we can see that we had right here a double top pattern has appeared and we can see that this resistance on 1.18075 has been respected again. We can see the, re the resistance level and again the resistance has kept its position. So what does that mean? That means that the trend is going to continue the fall and actually we can start or we can continue shorting the euro USD. So the point is where we can start actually shorting the pair. Let's go to the 30 minute time frame. So as we can see right here, uh, let me go to the one minute time frame to make it easier. So let's first highlight the strong support levels we're having. We're having a very strong key support level on uh, 1.17231 as you can see. Uh, so many reversals has happen have happened right here on that previous support. So our good chance to start shorting the Euro USD again is going to be on the bounce of uh, that support level. And as we can see, we're having right here a bearish breakout candle from that support right here. And we can see that this resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance. Therefore, uh, we are going to have the best chance if we can start short the Euro USD exactly at that level when the pair is going to actually uh, retest the broken resistance and then it's gonna actually continue the fall that being said I think this is also Fibonacci 61.8 let me just be sure from that level exactly to the support look at that how accurate it is I swear I did not even check it before opening the recorder good so that being said as I said my friend uh, let me just uh, clear it that we can start actually short the euro usd at the level 1.17542 and if uh, we have actually started selling the pair at that level let's look at the target so the target is actually going to be the lowest level of the support which is exactly right here uh, the support on 1.16948 that's going to give us approximately another 56 pips of profit so that is the take profit level on 1.16948 and for the safe zone let's just decide it's gonna be until the top of that resistance so the safe zone uh, let me just extend it a little bit 
uh, that should be fine uh, is that, that's fair enough actually for almost 20 pips and that is exactly where it's gonna be the safe zone my friends like that and the tech profit as I said is on that previous support that's your signal for the euro USD and hopefully it's gonna be uh, also very profitable moving to the pound USD uh, as we can see the pound USD signal is still active sadly the pair has went way above the safe zone and most likely so many of you have closed the trade with a loss uh, especially after th seeing this one here the bullish breakout candle happened exactly above the entry or oh, let me this, this, see this one was yeah this one so uh, what I can say now about the pound USD is nothing uh, the signal is still active as it is and the pair now is actually reversing after the attempt of the breaking out from the resistance which has failed therefore we can see right now on the bigger time scale for the pound USD sorry guys, I bite I bite my lips <laughs> oh it's bad feeling oh. okay okay uh, let's see for the pound USD we are having right here a head and shoulders pattern or we can say that this is more like a triple top anyway either one of them uh, the pair is gonna continue the fall so pound USD signal is still active exactly as, it, as I have sent it on the weekly analysis video and the target only is gonna be changed to be that support level on 1.29818 so let me just please just change the take profit level is gonna be on 1.29818 Eight. hopefully it's gonna be also good signal and very profitable for everyone now checking the AUD USD and uh, nothing to be added for the AUD USD the signal is running very beautiful and it's now going in the profit and so far it's going into uh, 35 pips of profit so the signal is still remaining the same no changes in it which is really fantastic USD CAD USD CAD has failed miserably unfortunately <laughs> and uh, let's see what we, what we can do actually with the USD CAD so let's just go to the okay we're already in for the four hour chart and as we can see my friends what I'm trying to see actually is something different from um, <coughs> please give me a moment to analyze the USD CAD and I'll be back to you all right so by looking at the daily chart and one hour chart and even 30 minute time frame uh, we can see for the USD CAD we are having right here a resistance exactly where the pair is on right now on 1.33027 and our only hope actually we are going to buy the USD CAD however we just want to know or we, we need to find actually the best entry possible I'm not gonna send a signal to the buy at the resistance it's not my style so what I'm going to do is hoping actually for a reversal on the second attempt on the USD CAD so that is we can say uh, it's a resistance number two so I'm gonna send the signal for the buy exactly at the support level if the pair is gonna uh, fall again to retest the broken support level so the USD CAD is gonna be for the buy on 1.32755 and the safe zone is going to be ranging in this inside the support zone so that being said we can make it exactly like that so it's going to be ranging for almost 31 pips only which is totally fine i think and like that and if in case we started buying on the usd cad right here we can keep the trade running until it hit the resistance level which was by the way a strong key support level in the past as well so that being said also the take profit level is going to be given on 1.33597 which is going to be giving us hopefully total of 83 pips of profit hopefully we are going to make them euro usd we already checked it uh, usd gpy usd gpy has reached already the take profit level without actually triggering our buy level mm. bad it's okay uh, the signal was the actual uh, the direction was uh, indeed uh, correct that is what matters to me and let's see what will gonna happen right now uh, looking at the USD GPY we can see that the pair has actually made the reversal on the strong support level on 106.680 uh, the pair was not actually able to break out yet from that previous support level and we can see the reversal happened right on that previous level so what's gonna happen next in my opinion 
the USDGPY is going to continue the fall until it hit the previ previous support, which was also a previous resistance on 106.365, and then it's going to continue the rise. Uh, in my opinion, USDGPY is definitely uh, for the rise. However, we cannot start buying it right now. We need to buy it exactly on 106.241 because that is exactly the previous level of the strong support level and the strong resistance. That being said, USDGPY is for the buy on 106.241 and the safe zone is going to be ranging, I think, until, yes, until it hit that previous support level. Let me check on the left. It was also, yes, it's inside the, <coughs> the wick, is, uh, the, the tail here of the support is inside the safe zone which is which makes this signal totally safe that's gonna be the safe zone and if in case of course the pair has made the breakout from the resistance we can keep the trade running until it hit the next resistance let me just delete this one so it's gonna confuse anyone so the buy is gonna be uh, given right here my friends 106.241 and we can keep the trade running no let's be, let's be realistic I don't think it's going to rise that much. Yes, until here only, until it hit the previous support level on uh, the uh, triple eight. All right, so the take profit level is going to be given on 106.888. That is my signal for the uh, USDGPY for the rest of the days this week. Hopefully, it's going to give us approximately 64 pips of profit. USDGPY has also been triggered this week as we can see j just today actually and it has went all the way to the take profit level immediately which is really fantastic 53 pips of profit has been made for those who have uh, got this signal now what's going to happen next on the USDCHF let me just tell you something that the pair is most likely going to continue the rise until it hit that previous resistance on 0 0.92414 Again, that being said, we need to provide the best entry for the buy again on the USDCHF. Uh, the level 0 0.91559 was a strong key support level in the past, and it is it was actually a strong key resistance also. As anyway, we can see that finally the pair has made an attempt to break out from that resistance, and finally it has made the breakout on this breakout candle, and it has already created here a support number one can be seen on the one hour time frame our only hope right now is that resistance right here is going to be respected as well and the pair is actually going to reverse and bounce back to the support number one and continue the rise to hit our take profit level now let's decide now about our uh, safe zones so the safe zone is going to be ranging inside the support zone just like that and the buy order is gonna be given we can buy the USCCHF on 0 0.91559 and the take profit level is also gonna be given on the previous resistance take profit level uh, hold on I want to change it I want to make it exactly right here that's more safe and more convenient in my opinion all right so the take profit level is going to be on 0 0.92296 again hopefully it's going to be a very good signal and everyone will make good profit out of it let's now move to the gold now let me tell you something about the gold uh, the gold signal was actually running in very good profit as we can see uh, it was going into it has went total on of almost 2500 pips of profit before suddenly started the reversal and falling down um, which has actually it actually did what n most of the experts and uh, um, traders did not expect actually why because actually today uh, even though there is a pandemic in the United States and it's hitting uh, very bad uh, cases numbers uh, still the United States bond yields has actually rose and the gold has become less attractive against these uh, numbers so that being said now what is gonna happen actually something happened right now to the my to, to, to my headphones I can hear myself it's annoying anyway um, I was about to send the signal 
uh, to start buying the gold exactly on 1906.57 however we can see that the pair has already reversed the gold has already reversed on that previous support now since the gold has already started the reversal um, it's not really good to give the signal anymore so I actually don't want to give a sell signal for the gold uh, it's way too late for selling the gold it actually fall for really today it has it has fell for almost 1400 pips which is really a lot the gold has lost a lot of its strength which it, which it, which it has gained in the past uh, few weeks so I going to the daily candles look at that that is actually look at if we check the history of the gold that is actually the biggest candle happened in just one day that indicates something that the gold was actually rising only because of the weakness of the dollar and because the investors don't feel uh, safe with the dollar any, uh, anymore but the numbers of the bond yields after it has been raised and uh, it has been raised in the United States um, the gold has become less attractive against the US dollar so actually I, d I don't want to sell the gold however the reality is telling us that the gold can be good for the sell however in my opinion after this fall right here the gold is gonna be ranging for quite some time before actually we can see what will gonna happen in my opinion if the gold has actually made the break out from that support level then it's gonna continue the fall until it hit the previous resistance on 1803 which is most likely not gonna happen as well because the gold really cannot lose that much of uh, its strength in a very short time especially with the weakness of the dollar if the dollar was strong I would say okay maybe the gold uh, might reach to, th to this level however the weakness of the dollar is really playing a huge role in the in the, in the gold uh, gold's rise so moral of the story what is the signal given for the gold um, let me just go to the four hour chart and tell you something uh, we're gonna have two signals actually given for the gold uh, if the gold has actually made the, ri the rise to retest the broken resistance level on 1980 then we are going to short the gold again we are gonna give the sell signal for the gold exactly right here and the take profit level is gonna be given only at the support right here as I said the gold most likely is gonna be ranging so I, doubt, I really doubt that we can give a big signal or long-term signals for the gold now that is one scenario what is the next scenario the next scenario is if the gold has actually made the break out from from uh, that support level if by by tonight we can see a bearish breakout candle like that then we're going to sell the gold exactly at that previous support level when it when the gold is gonna rise to retest the level and then we can keep the trade running until it had the mentioned uh, resistance I given I said later so let me just uh, summarize it uh, gold is gonna be uh, cell number one or you know something um, let's make it like that number cell number one on 1980.58 that is only if the uh, if the gold has rose to that level the next scenario is we can we can sell again sell after breakout sell only if you see the breakout on 1907.69 I know it might be complicated however we need actually to see any breakout candle breaks out from that support and actually closes as a bearish breakout candle don't attempt to sell the gold before actually you can see the candle has closed as a bearish breakout candle after that wait for the reversal on that support level wait for the gold to rise a little bit more to retest the broken support level and then you can start shorting the gold so actually you know something I need to fix the signal uh, level uh, the signal number uh, that is not the right number let me just fix it please uh, 1000 okay 6.18 that's more accurate now the safe zone for B for each of them the safe zone is gonna be ranging inside that previous zones uh, support zone which is gonna be actually a lot I cannot do that I cannot do that uh, 1600 pips at uh, 160 pips 
yeah actually it's a lot but uh, gold is very sensitive my friends you have to be extra double extra careful when you are shorting uh, the gold I I'm not taking any blame or any fault if uh, you have wiped your account uh, selling the gold uh, the gold is actually very subjective to the news and I'm telling I'm saying that on almost every video so please be extra caution with your money uh, dedicate only small amount that you are ready to risk for the gold don't uh, try to don't even think to become rich uh, in over one night by selling the gold uh, it's very risky and it is gambling it's not really a forex trading you are not really a forex trader if you are just gambling all your money in one trade so uh, that is, these are the levels I have given for selling the gold let me just now show you the take profit level for each of them so let me just delete this uh, change the color make it a green so it's gonna be easier for everyone to follow or I think red may be better red is better okay so the take profit level if in case we started shorting the gold uh, number one sell number one uh, take profit is gonna be 1945.39 that is for the first signal and for the second signal it, if it has been uh, triggered as well we're gonna keep selling until it hit that previous support level right right here exactly okay all right so it's gonna be giving us hopefully 2600 uh, sorry 216 pips of profit uh, let me just uh, write for you the tech profit level uh on 1878.54 all right so I really hope it's gonna be working out very well look at that the gold is already falling the signal is already uh, hopefully it's gonna be triggered after posting the video so let me now post it very quickly and don't be late anymore so I really again hope guys it's gonna be a very profitable and good week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching